Now there's a new push to help stop the violence. The city is set to launch a pilot program. It's aimed at keeping at-risk kids out of trouble. Joining us tonight to tell us more about it, public advocate Jamani Williams, who proposed the Advanced Peace Model Program with Mayor de Blasio. Good to have you with us, public advocate. I know, as always, thanks for having me. So tell us about this program. What was the model for it? And I know it's targeting five precincts. You know, first of all, uh, we have to continue to pray for families who are losing loved ones to gun violence on the streets of New York City. Uh, we've seen this increase, uh, not just in New York City, but across the nation. And while we see the press conferences about uh, how we're tackling the virus, I'm hoping we see more and more about how we're tackling gun violence. And this model has been proven successful in actually reducing gun violence and homicides in California, where you pair up people uh, who are likely, unfortunately, to be shooters with mentors, and there is actually financial incentives uh, for them to do things uh, that make their life better. For instance, applying for a job, or getting a GED, and that mentoring has been uh, very successful. Similarly, about eight, nine years ago, we presented uh, a crisis management system based on cure violence, which has violence interrupters. That program started from five precincts uh, to now almost 30. Pre-pandemic, we were at the lowest uh, number for gun violence that we had ever been. Mm. These things were working. Post-pandemic, we've seen a surge, and we have to get even more creative. When do you see it starting? Uh, my hope is, based on the conversation we had, uh, just as the summer months are coming, uh, sadly, we do send, tend to see a, an increase uh, in violence, particularly gun violence, but we don't believe that it has to be. Uh, we need all hands on deck, and we understand that law enforcement has a role to play in some of this. The, the bigger problem has been, well, where are all the other partners and resources that have a role to play as well? And speaking of partnership, you and the mayor don't always see eye to eye. You've been critical of him in the past, particularly when it comes to police reform and other matters. So how are you working together on this? You know, I've always said that my job as a public advocate uh, is not to be antagonistic or not. It's to push forward uh, on issues that are going to help the people of the city of New York. When it comes to the advanced people, uh, advanced peace model, I definitely am uh, working with the, uh, the mayor and thankful that he has uh, funded this uh, uh, pilot program. And to his credit, uh, the biggest expansion during the crisis management system, the original uh, pilot I spoke about, happened under his administration as well. So uh, we do need to see more happen on, on many other uh, levels, uh, but I'm always going to stand with someone who's putting forth something good. And when it comes to the advanced peace model, which we've been pushing for a year, uh, we're happy to see that happen. Let's talk about another politician, Governor Cuomo. We have not heard you weigh in on this. The state Senate Majority Leader Andrew Stewart Cousins now thinks that she has enough votes to convict the governor and an impeachment trial. A poll released, though, shows that he has a lot of support from New Yorkers. What do you think? You know, we have spoken a bunch on this, and I would say, first of all, we should all uh, be uh, supporting and lifting up the courageous women who have stepped forward and the abhorrent accusations that we've heard. But I've been consistent in saying uh, that I have believed this governor shouldn't be in leadership well before that. The nursing homes, uh, the Moreland Commission, the Buffalo Billions, which there are many of them across the state, uh, the corruption that has gone on, uh, the bullying tactics that we've seen uh, that have led up to this was enough for me a long time ago to say that this governor should not be governor. This is before we get to bad decisions like what happened during this pandemic in between pressures that people liked that affected this entire city and state, especially black and brown bodies. And we can't lose sight of that as well. So irrespective of what happens, I do think the investigation needs to continue. Uh, but I want to make sure we're talking about all of the reasons uh, that this governor shouldn't be here. All right. Public Advocate Jamani Williams joining us tonight.